So those two, this is the final one I'm going to talk about. Those two briefs were very much sort of for a female target audience. This is very much for the boys. This is one for the boys. This is a brand, a new company putting on live music productions at large global sporting events. So this is a company that wanted to fuse uh, music and sport and, and put, a, put, put uh, packages together for that. They were called Explore Sport. There's no existing logo for it because it was a brand new concept. So what are the emotions we want to get here? Totally different emotions. Energy, adrenaline, passion, competition, speed, testosterone, technical expertise, glamour, excitement, style. A lot of things, but we can do it. We can get them all in there. So first of all, let's look at the relationships between music and sport. And straight away from this mood board, you can see that actually there's a lot of similarities. There's even these two designs here are very, very similar, almost exactly the same concept. But it's just a question of building mood boards of photography and just to get those emotions in a visual, you know, just in a visual uh, soundboard that we can have a look at. Let's look at famous, iconic sporting brands. Let's get those in there. Let's make a mood board of that and have a look at some of the patterns there. Interestingly, you'll see that a lot of these big sports brands, they don't tie themselves to a colour. They're, they're black and white. You'll find that with a lot of fashion brands, a lot of sports brands. They don't have a colour at all. Um, and that's because they don't want to clash with anything that they're put on against. So any, any sports brand that's on a shirt, it can't be a certain colour, it could clash. So that was something that was picked out. Now, again, we go to this brilliant artistic work that I've done here. Uh, the, the, from, just from these mood boards, this is my doodles that came out of those mood boards. Uh, the idea was that for the competition, we can make the X of Explore Sport into kind of two arrows facing each other and colliding. So we've got, this is a, just a little doodle of like, this is the ashes here, and maybe we can have like Australia versus England here. Maybe we can have like sporting people kicking a football outside of one of the X's. You know, maybe we can actually have, whereas Twitter has hashtags, maybe we could have our own, you know, uh, pointy bracket tag. You know, it's just like this is a way of expanding the brand and making it, you know, go further than just the logo. So this is some of the initial designs we did for Explore Sport, which I did. This was the Ashes concept with one half of the X being Australia, one half being England. How would it look on the Super Bowl? How would it look for Grand Prix? How would it look for uh, on the cricket? You know, this, this, this whole thing was very, very sporty, but from the feedback that we got, where's the music? We completely forgot, well, I completely forgot about the music element. So now we've got to go back to the drawing board and, and reimagine it for a music audience. But still keeping the sports elements, still keeping those elements there. So some of, these, some of the things that we thought about which could connect live sport and live music was uh, a sound, a reverberation. You know, they're, they're both very loud affairs. So that was, a, that was a, a, an, an energy that we needed to get into it. So how can we get sound, sound waves, sound explosions, something that links the two things together? And the other thing was that this, in the end, we went with this brand down here from the feedback. Um, again, with the font, the font was very sporty, but now we went for something much more neutral. So this could be applied to music and sports. And now we'll see the final branding here. So this is the cover that we did for the Ashes. Explore sport. The other thing about the, the circle, you know, obviously circles appear a lot in sport. You've got balls and you've got things like wheels for uh, cycling championships. And again, no, no color on the logo because we want to make the color, you know, the, the thing behind it. We don't want to focus the color on the actual brand itself. Uh, so that was basically that brand. Two different applications and we did some other any other sporting events, you could have a football there, you know, you could have a golf ball there, you could have anything. This is the website. Uh, so we can take elements of the brand, the logo, bring them out and make them arrows, you know, we can have a, a sort of sub, um, a sub phrase and a little, you know, personal touch with plug into your passion, the different sports. This is the brand translated into a, into a website. 